your voices all around Telling me who you are when the world's apart I smile swans Min kulli makan Taqulu li fi alam baynana You'll never know me Don't wanna know you You started the fight But I'll see it through Lan ta'raf niwana Misharaf kum Badat talum fwana How of course do you know just who I am what I do for this land my kunta talam man ana hari sara arudna got to see that I got my kids wanna borrow do in the aula got to see that I love my wife was so much to behave Don't you know I can follow the same path that we're on today A tadri mumkin namshi fi nafsi tariq lehna fi Where will it lead this anger in me to the loss of life in my humanity? Aina yu adi al wada fi qalbi hamda yahyatna wa insaniya. Do you know just who I am? What I do for this land? Ma kunta tala ma. Anna, Haris and Arutina. Gotta see that I got my kids. Wanna borrow the wind, the outlet. Gotta see that I love my wife. Was so much to be happy. Do you know just who I am? I'm, I'm you, you, I'm you, I'm you. I said I'm, I'm you, you, I'm you, I'm you. Ma kunta talam man ana, ana anta anta anta, ana anta anta anta. Do you know just who I am? What I do for this land? But couldn't you tell them, man, I'm not. How do you sell our routine now? Gotta see that I got my kids on a bottle door in the aula. Gotta see that I love my wife. What's so cheap I have? Do you know just who I am? What I do for this land, but couldn't tell 'em, man, I'm not. 
parties that I own or Gotta see that I got my kids Wanna bottle door in the aula Gotta see that I love my wife Was so she by her Okay. okay, so now let us change our language from Bahasa to English. <laughs> Baik. Okay, dan kita kenalkan tamu kita. Kalau tadi pada awal sekali, kita dah uh, bersama-sama dengan mereka. Yes, uh, kita kenalkan uh, sekali lagi, Karim Salama. Uh, Assalamualaikum, brother. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, your voice is awesome, man. Eh? I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You're kind. Inshallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And then, uh, kita kenalkan juga sahabat dia, JJ Warden, yang merupakan um, music director um, yang bersama dengan beliau. Ahlan, welcome. Thank you. Okay. You uh, did the second or the third voice just now. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's me. That's you. Oh, wow, mashallah. So, okay. if I didn't, if I close my eyes, I thought that was... The third person? Uh, third person. And I think, I thought it was like uh, a singer from the United one? States. But Alhamdulillah, you guys are from Egypt, right? From the no? United States. From, from, United yeah. States yeah. Right. from the United States. The first, yeah. and you're singing about Islamic song, mashallah. Um, we sing we sing music that is in conformity with with what we think is you know deep spiritual meanings that mm -hmm. that relate to everybody. Everybody, you know, Allah. it is an universal uh, value. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we, we 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 intend it for everybody, but but we like to infuse it with um, with with deep meanings that we feel like can touch people's hearts. So please tell us more about yourself. Uh, my name is Karim. I'm from. I was actually born and raised in a small town in uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And right. my parents, though, immigrated from to America from Egypt. Ah, uh, that, that's why. All right. Okay. <laughs> right in the late '60s. Um, and we do a kind of music uh, that's sort of a pop, sort of country. It's a little bit of a mix. Um, and like I said, we just. It's it's really important for us to have something that's meaningful, um, that that can impact people, uh, hopefully inspire people. Mm. Right, the song that you were singing earlier on, it sounds really interesting, it sounds yeah. good, and the lyrics were um, English and Arabic as well. <laughs> well, um, mo most of the time we write everything in English. That particular song, though, we wrote, we were traveling to the Middle East, we went right. to tour uh, Egypt, Morocco, Jordan, Syria, some different countries, and we wrote a song about two people who were having a conversation with one another, right. and they hate each other. <laughs> and one, one was speaking in English and one was speaking in Arabic, but they keep saying the same thing back to each other, until eventually they start to realize that they have a primordial um, connection to one another, which is that they're connected through the divine. Mm -hmm. And, you know, God said in the Quran, mm -hmm. like he yes. breathed into us from himself. And that doesn't just mean the, the homeless person or the rich person or the Christian or the Muslim. It means everybody has that divine spirit that was breathed into them. So they see this connection between each other. So in the end, they say, I am you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we, we are alike or that we mirror one another and that's how they sort of come together and reconcile their differences. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, what about your journey in music? Can you share more about us, about yourself? Sure. Um, <clears throat> myself, personally, I came from a kind of a classical music upbringing oh. and then kind of got into rock and pop and, <laughs> and then met this guy and now <laughs> kind of doing country and whatever else we decide to do, yeah. So, what, what kind of genre of music that you love most? Oh goodness! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's probably what is most current, and most currently, I really enjoy the electronic. Mm. I know it sounds strange, but <laughs> I like dubstep and electro, and just kind of some of the newer stuff that's been coming out with like Dead Mouse and Wow. Skrillex. Does Karim allows you to do that? Yeah, yeah. it's a pretty <laughs> with my stuff. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Country yeah. And yeah, we don't. We're not performing. Yeah, we, do, that we do a little more, we do, ours is a little more poppy. Yeah, um, we, we do we a lot. To, yes. but, but I think the thing that connects us is that we both have a real strong, um, I mean, he's an incredible musician, incredible arranger, but also we have a real strong um, connection in terms of the kinds of lyrics that we like to write. Mm -hmm. In his, he writes music as well. Right. Um, and, you know, his music, if you hear his lyrics, a lot of times they're very similar to the kinds of things mm -hmm. that I would write about. So yeah. we have a real strong connection in that way. Right. The, the song early on was I Am You. I Am right? You, right. Um, what are the um, singles that you have um, that would be very profoundly um, um, with a strong message? I don't write a song that I don't feel like has a strong message. So right. I, w I wouldn't say like if if it's not something that I believe in or I feel like it comes so from my heart. It. Yeah, I won't. I won't. I wouldn't perform it. Mm. Um, and I and I think that. But some of the songs that we we perform, we're going to be performing tomorrow uh, at uh, 
DBKL um, auditorium, auditorium yeah. and we'll do that song. We'll do um, a song called City of Lights. Um, City of Lights is about what? City of Lights is actually about a, a journey that people take together, and the, and I leave it sort of open. For me, it was it was sort of a spiritual journey, mm -hmm. but it can be as simple as a group of people helping each other get to the mall, or it can be uh, a group of people helping each other, you know, get to the divine. Mm -hmm. So it's it's about it's about that camaraderie and trying to work towards or to get to to get to the end or to travel on a journey. Tell us a little bit more about your spiritual journey. My spiritual journey. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've always been a very. Um, I, I've always felt, even from the time I was a, a young, young boy, like five, four or five years old, I've always been very spiritual, sort of emotional. Um, I didn't actually study music, though, initially. Oh. Like, I actually, uh, when I went compared to college... To, compared to uh, DJ Wasn't, you studied right. about music specifically? I did. All mm. right. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> yeah, has a very, a he's very classically trained, um, which is, has been a big help for me to yeah. kind of fill the spaces where I'm not uh, learned. But I, um, uh, I actually did engineering... Wow. Uh, for undergraduate, and then I went to law school for a graduate degree. Well, you degree. did engineer and law, right? Double and degree. Now. Right, but I think, but I think that interesting because I, my parents taught us to not be afraid to listen to the good inspiration in one's heart, and so I had a kind of a desire to maybe do this a little bit, and you know they helped us indulge that. And my father always said, if you ignore things that come into your heart, the good ilham or inspirations that yeah. come into your heart in small things, you'll do it in big things. So somebody could be walking around and they really don't have much care for how God feels about them or how they feel about God, but then suddenly they, they feel something in their heart for, for God and they ignore it, Yeah. right? And, and it's, 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 but it's about getting accustomed to not ignoring that thing. And sometimes it comes in the smallest thing, like some, something you have an idea you want to, um, one day I just wanted to learn how to do a, when I was young, I wanted to do a flip, just to learn how to do a flip. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I just said to myself, I'm going to learn it. Mm -hmm. There's no real reason, but it's the idea that's like you can't, you don't want to ignore the good. And we have in our tradition, you know, we have one of the few traditions where you have a, a, a hadith that says, astafti qalbak wa law aftu kan nas. Right? Yeah, seek, a, a, seek a fatwa from your heart or a ruling from your heart, even if other people give you an opposing ruling. Yeah, the other side. So, yeah, so the, so the idea of being in touch with one's heart and, and, and sort of having that spiritual relationship with people and having that spiritual relationship with God is very important within right. within our tradition and, and within other traditions as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I noticed that you've been, you guys have been to Rome, to Italy, and the latest you've been in England, and also you've been performing in the White House. Uh, we, is we, it true? Or, or? We visited, we, I, I, I was invited to a dinner at the White House. All right. I didn't perform there, but President Obama, he, he listened to my music. Oh, really? And, yeah, wow. And, and he, and he, uh, <laughs> You know, he told me that I could sing pretty well, and we talked a little bit. So, yeah. right. but we didn't know we didn't get a chance to perform. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you know, mashallah, um, what's interesting is, is that the combination of both of you, yeah. JJ and Karim, and the places that you go, and we do understand that the climate internationally, when it comes to the Muslims, it's it's a it's a different thing altogether right now, especially what happened in France. Uh, do you think that by performing your, through your performance and through your art? you somehow could find a neutral balance between the, you know, different thoughts. I sure hope so. That's yeah. what we... Uh, Did anybody we'd... come up to you and say <clears throat> that you kind of like gave me a different angle about this issue or perhaps, you know, looking at you and Karim together um, made them more comfortable to ask you about Muslims? I would, hope, I, I would absolutely hope so. That's what we, you know, that's what our friendship is about. We see... You know, any time that we've traveled together, we see uh, so many people focus on differences. Here's how we're different. And we see so many more likenesses. Yeah, and I think it's just easy, even what you see on the news or, you know, radio, what you hear is there's so much bad, but there's a lot of good that we just skip over. Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> you know, even coming over here, people have been so kind and so sweet, and there's not really been any talk of, well, are you this or are you that or... Are you square or are you round? It's just like, hey, why don't you come have a cup of coffee and sit down and talk with us and tell us about America. We'll tell you about Malaysia. It's been beautiful. Oh, and, and I remember Michael Jackson once said that life is about music and music is about life. Mm. So I noticed that you are not only performing, but you also do workshop in music and you also talk about music. Mm -hmm. So what are kind of activities do you do in that kind of programs? Sure. We just went to, what, yesterday or the day before to a local KK. college. 
Yeah, okay. Kota Kinabalu. Right. Yeah. All right. So you, you handling workshops or, or what? Yeah, we just did a small workshop, did a few songs for some local kids at uh, local students at a university, and just answered questions about kind of their path in music and what well, steps to take. frequently asked questions. What's that? <laughs> be frequently asked questions. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Usually, what do they what, usually what ask you? Usually ask. Um, it's usually very kind of common practical stuff. How do I get better at this? How do I become a good songwriter? How do I get better as a singer? What do I do if I have songs that I want to write? You know, how do I get better? All, all that kind of stuff. How do we I continue had, we to had a question, like We had some questions like, how do I become famous? Or how <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you answer? Yeah. We say that that's not a good aim. Oh, yeah. You know, cool. A person yeah. shouldn't desire to be famous. Yeah. Right. Right. So, do, just do the best. Right. It's, uh, it's fun, you know, to, to, to do a good job in what you do. Mm -hmm. and, and, and hopefully it's pleasing to people and pleasing to, to God and, 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 and let the result be what it will be. Yeah. What drives you? Uh, for me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I try to keep that personal. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I, yeah. But so, so let, let's, let, let, let it be personal. Right. But what about your tour in Malaysia? I believe it is not personal, right? Oh, no, no. We, 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 we came here last Thursday. We, we had a chance to perform at the Miri Country Music Festival. So. Um, and then we were in KK. We performed at the... Um, Sabah uh, Art Gallery, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then again, um, like I mentioned, uh, tomorrow. DBKL. Right, we'll be, and then on Friday we'll be in. Uh, Kelantan Bacho. Really? Kelantan yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, University, University in Bacho? Malaysia Kelantan Bacho oh, um, at eight thirty. Right. right. Yeah. Um, and during your performance, how many songs would you be uh, performing? We do about. It d depends on how we feel, you know, the crowd is reacting, but usually like seven, eight, oh, nine. That's quite a lot. Yeah, we do, we, do a, we do a few. We make sure that they get a healthy dose of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right, right, so um, we are very honored to have you here. Thank so you for any having last us. last words for Malaysian audience, please? Last words? Yeah, anything to say? Your message. Your message to them? To our audience. Oh, they're, yeah, Malaysian people are beautiful people. True story. Have a beautiful country. We absolutely love it here, and we, we would love to see them tomorrow and in Kelantan on Friday. Yeah. And we hope to come back uh, more and more. Kelantan, they, they, they pronounce Kelantan in a different way. How do they say they it? They call it Klate. Could you Klate? try that? Klate? Klate? Yes. Klate? Klate. Klate. No. Klate. Klate. Even better. Okay. Better he's than, really, yeah, better than Karim. He's, a really, he's really good at language. He's, he actually can pronounce Arabic things really well. Nice. You notice really? he was singing the backing to the Arabic. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, could, could you just show us a little? Your oh, okay. skill. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ismi JJ. Shukran lakum, inshallah. Thank you very much oh, for uh, being here. Thank you, thank you very much. Point. Thank you for having us. Jazakallah khairan kathira, inshallah. All the best. Thank and you so may Allah all constantly bless you guys. Klate. Klate. See you there. Inshallah. So, orang okay, Klate, selamat bertemu dengan mereka berdua. Dan orang uh, Kuala Lumpur, jangan lupa esok petang, DBKL. jam 3 petang uh, di DBKL Auditorium.